Welcome guys and welcome back to a new video in Sibra Muslim and today we're going to talk about Clever Configurator. So this is my second video in the series and in my previous video I talk about Clever Configurator, Clever UEFI, Bootloader and how to get the Bootloader onto your OS X partition and how to get started with your Hackintosh. In this video I will explain you one of the sections of Clever Configurator and I have already mounted my EFI and I have opened my config.plst. So if you haven't watched the previous video and you don't know how to mount your EFI, then go and watch it, it will help you get through. So in my previous video, I also explained basic ACPI section and a little detailed boot section as well. And that is one of the most important sections and you must watch the video to learn to get started with the Clever Configurator. The link is down in the description as well as well as on the top left side of the screen. Just click it. So we'll back on our ACPI section. So we're going to start from the top left side to move to the right side. And we will just ignore the DSDT patches right now and we will start with the DSDT fixes. So here is the first fix which is fixed display. So this is one of the most important fixes. And before I tell you anything about the fixes, do remember that these fixes can cause your system not to boot properly if you just put on the wrong one. For example, most of the time if I use fixed HDA, my system gonna crash the very next boot. So I just don't prefer using fixed HDA on my system, but this might help your system. So it is all dependent on the system as well as what you do with your config.plst. So we will start with our fixed display. Let me zoom in for your help. So right here. So this fixed display will patch or you can say add some of the addresses or fixes in the config.plst which will help your NVIDIA or AMD graphic card work properly. So remember any of these can cause a problem as well but this is one of the most important fixes and you can read here old way and new way. These are the kind of fixes which the Clover configurator itself has updated means the makers had modified the way they used to patch the hardware and now there are two ways one is the old way and one is the new way so we will just start with the old way fixed display we have already talked about this and the second one is fixed usb fixed usb is used to add usb 1 usb 2 and usb 3 addresses in the config.plst depending on your system and this might help you get your usb 3.0 working and as well as your 2.0 and old ones so the fixed HDA is useful for those who are having an HDMI device problem or HDMI audio absence so this fix this patch will add your HDMI in the config.plst so it can be enabled and it, it will help you get the audio out using the Apple HDA remember if you're using if you're not using Apple HDA and you're using Voodoo, Voodoo audio uh, patch then this fix can cause the system not to boot properly and even making a small mistake will cause a problem as well so I don't use this for my HDMI but I use another patch for my HDMI then we will move to fix SATA so fix SATA is one of the patches which enables your SATAs and this fix add an ID device ID which is I think ICH6 to prevent the orange icon problem on your desktop. For example, some of the people out there are having their SATA displays uh, displayed as USB connected devices. And if you connect a USB hard drive to your system, the Mac OS X will show it as orange and orange icon. By clicking this, that arrow can be prevented. Then we'll move to fix IDE. If you're using an older version of hard drive means if you're not using a SATA hard drive and your system has a IDE ports this fix will enable them and it will prevent the error because most of the new Macs do not come in IDE and Hackintosh or the Mac OS X causes problem so clicking this will add IDE controllers to prevent the, any kernel panic or any boot uh, loading errors after that we have fix firewire what this uh, fix will do is it will add your firewire id if your system has a firewire port it means if you have a, a firewire device present in your system this fix will enable that and we will move to fix lan this is uh, one of the nicest fixes 
and if you have one of the known ethernet port in your motherboard this fix will get to know which port is yours and if we got any substitute or if we got any fix for that it will automatically apply that so you can get your internet working without any problem then we get the fix airport so this is one of the nice fixes as well and it ejects the device id as it's it's like same like fix LAN, but for the wi-fi fix airport injects device id for the known substitution means before the famous uh wi-fi card it can automatically fix that problem like it can automatically enable airport on most of the known wi-fi card then we will get the fix shutdown and this is for those who are having a problem getting their system shut down properly or they have having a very long delay before the system shut down or sometimes the problem is like you cl uh, you click the shutdown everything is off the system is off display is gone but the power or lights of the motherboard are still on and this fix can help that out as well this is the section what is left is add dtgb and this is something not very common but this method adds um and so this fix adds a method into the dsdt so your system can apply proper dsdt fixes so this is the first step if you apply dsdt fixes in to your dst dsdt and then we get that hpet fix so this fix add an irq 0 8 and 11 to the device hpet so this is mostly useful for people who are on mac os x mavericks or older version and this fix won't work on the new one but that's why it's in the category of old way so this is not one of the most known fixes or something and not so useful then after this we get to the add mchc so what mchc is is it's it's also a device fix or device addition to your dsdt for for one of the most old motherboards out there for for example h61 865m and so so this is not like must it's not an obligatory stuff but this will help you the system boot it up properly and add an ime code to that as well and after that we get the fixed darwin and if you're having a darwin error in your system for example you will know if you run it with the verbose minus v and if we give a darwin error you can just click on this fixed darwin and you can get rid of that error as well and if you go in detail this fix will make your system being identified as windows 2000 and 2001 i think and that might be helpful to get more acpi devices in this mode and this will help you get more acpi uh, compatibility the last one is i think fix ipic and to be honest i can't remind what that is but so we'll i will tell you in any other video but i can't get through that at the moment then here is one of the most important fixes for the dst which is debug so when i was using the el capitan previously so i used i went into a like a real problem and my system was not booting properly at that time i used the debug and this thing enabled me to get into the system it takes a lot of time sometimes but this thing debug automatically debugs through your os x through your clover config or plst through your motherboard and get and tries it tries the best to boot into the system so this might help you get the stuff done if you are like if you're just lost and this might help you get it now we will ignore this stuff right now and we'll go back down here drop oem slash dsm don't be worried i will explain you these as well in the later videos but when you will have more understanding of the clever config config or plst because if i explain it right now that might become too much confusing for the people so let's move to drop oem slash dsm and here you can see there are lots of different checkboxes so what this does is for example if you're having a motherboard which do not have ati you can just click this you can just drop the ati driver loading stuff you having a motherboard which do not have ide you can just click that and if motherboard which don't have five wire you can just click that if you're not using intel graphics just drop it and if you're not using wi-fi drop it if you don't have hmi drop it so this is the box where you can just drop the stuff from your config.plst to avoid to reduce the loading time as well so most of the time it does not make a big difference in loading time but might help you boot into the system as well and if we came here down 
so we will we get the first checkbox for the apple apic so this is oh my god patch apic i think it made up for apple power into interference control and what this patch does is that it enables you to get through the kernel lapic or kernel panic of your system for example if you are using a processor which is not as much compatible with the system or is the latest one or something you can use this most of the people use cpu s is equals to one as well to get boot into the system for example if you are using a system and cpu s is equals to one helps you out with your uh, booting up of hackintosh then definitely you should use patch apic so this patch will patch the madt of your system and will enable the clover to automatically correct your dsdt madt tables and will help you boot faster and more reliably then comes the smart ups and this is not something very useful but this is for example if you have a ups connected to your mac mini and you're going through your from stuff yeah you're taking your mac mini to somewhere or if you're having a laptop and you made a hackbook or you can say hackintosh macbook then you can use the smart ups and the clover will automatically detect the state of your mobility of your system and if it is like if it get to the point that your system is mobile and it got a battery in it so it will enable that that came the halt enabler i think i'm not messing everything up by explaining so much in one video but if you have any confusion let me know in the comments below then you get the halt enabler and this just prevent the reset restart halt on some of the system that try to boot up the system went to a point if you're using minus v verbose it will show you a system halted cpu halted and system will restart and then again it will cycle it up till infinity so if you just did this halt enabler it will prevent your system from getting into that state and in some reason in in some cases it might help you get through that point or just prevent the restart so you can just read the stuff written on the screen then come one of the one of the very important patch for those who are using hackbooks and their wi-fi it's lots of battery so this is disable active state power management aspm what it does is that some of the wireless card does not uh, sleep properly and prevent the laptops to sleep as well so this fix will enable LOs which are L0s and L1s and these are states of Wi-Fi card and by enabling this this will help the system sleep properly and save lots of battery if we come here reset address and reset values these two parameters are very important for those who are having a problem restarting the system or are having a problem shutdowning the system properly so there are two or three values you can add here one is in the reset section and zero x ef so this will help most of the system to restart properly and to shut down properly and in the worst case if that does not work you can just go to zero x zero zero x zero and this will uh, put the thingy on the clover to determine what it have to do with your system sleep and restart prop shutdown and restart problem so it's better if you just try with 0x0 to at the first point and if that does not fix then move to 0x64 remember do make a backup every time you apply a single patch just don't mess up with like every patch at a single go and then you will be just blanked out like what wrong you did sometimes you 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 add like 10 patches and only one patches is messing up and you don't know which one it is and you have to remove all of them and you have to try again and that might end up making or crashing your system at the end we came to the ssdt part and in my previous video i had already explained about that but let's explain it in more detail we will click on double state first double first states and this will enable your cpu to get twice the states at the first point means if it boots at a frequency of 800 or 3000 normally and your max frequency is 3800 and the cpu shifts between that it will shift one extra shift 
between that drop oem it will drop all the default ssdt tables and if you have an extra ds ssdt table you have to you have to move that stuff you have to move that ssdt table in the efi clever configurator efi partition in the efi folder and then in efi folder you have to move in oem folder and then in mode you have to go to acpi and then you have to place that ssdt there so that would be a lengthy stuff to do but that's one of the most important if you just want to drop the default clever ssdt then use the system io and uh, system io what was that let's talk about p states p states and c state first and then well, I, I will explain you the system io as well so the p states are the power state and if you enable that your system will turbo boost if it um, it is capable of turbo boosting as my CPU is right now it is capable of turbo boosting so this will enable the clover to get the best out of your CPU to use it boost your CPU to the maximum frequency under heavy loads and then comes the C states the C states are power saving states and there are four there are four different modes C2, C4, C6 and you can check the modes available for your CPU on the Google and then you can enable that and this will help your system to be more power efficient. So let's ignore the plugin type first, uh, plugin type and talk about plimit directory or DICT first. So what is plimit DICT? So this is the uh, fix or you can say an SSD patch which, uh, which will enable your system to restrict it to the maximum frequencies. So if you add zero here, which is basic, it won't do. It won't put any limit on the maximum frequency your system can achieve. For example, if your system can turbo boost to 3.8, or if your system cannot turbo boost and it is stabilized at three gigahertz, you can just add zero, and the Clover or the Hackintosh will use the max of it, and it can used it to go to three gigahertz but if you enable one what it will do is it will down downgrade your cpu to one step which means if your system takes steps of about 400 megahertz or 300 or 200 megahertz one step will be equivalent to 200 megahertz and if you enable one here your system won't go to three gigahertz on under loads but it will stay at 2.8 gigahertz this will help the to use lower power as well as generating low amount of heat if you use two that means it will be limited to two steps down than the maximum step and if you use under volt steps it is same as reducing the voltage of your cpu and making it more power efficient generating less heat but in a result reducing the amount of power it can produce then here is down here is ds disable aml and sorted order I will explain these two things in my later tutorials and this is all about the ACPI and so let's talk about the new ways as well before I go and here in new ways all of these patches will be ignored and new patches will be applied depending here so you by the name you can understand most of them RTC fix idea fix IMI fix region fix Intel graphics delete unused add HDMI fix SCS and i will explain the new ways in my later tutorial as well so that's all for this video guys thanks for watching hope you liked it hope you enjoyed it if you have any question feel free to comment below i would really appreciate any question from your side because i do lots of reading lots of studying lots of research before i make a video and i will appreciate if you i will really appreciate if you share this video with your friends and with your colleagues and if you like subscribe and share my video and my channel so that's all that's all thank you for watching till the end hope you liked it hope you enjoyed it and until the very next video please take care allah hafiz